<laughs> that was quick change in your game. What? Why? Weird. Uh huh. The crazy raccoon being even crazier this morning. decides that it's gonna have a twitch and you can't fucking control the fuck. Twitch and you have no control over the fucking car. Does it do that? No other car fucking drives. Yeah, 
head is shit. Oh, I can't stand it. It's just absolute garbage, and it got no power, and it don't handle. It's in out for no reason. Somehow an LMP3 car is out qualifying an LMP2 car. There's three of them on the top three positions. But yet I'm a GT3 car and I'm right up there with them in the top five. Three seconds back. See if that qualifying. Start my fucking ass, go into the first corner, the fucking car won't be down shit. I prefer sports. What, you're saying you prefer Grand Turismo Sport? No, oh, they, they both, they, no, oh, somebody. Just commented on my thing. Yeah, I had a poetic gamer on my Twitch stream. Keep saying I. Oh, they both have their ups and their downs. Sport. Exactly. And there he is. There. Yep. Speaking of the devil. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. And if you keep coming into my stream and saying that, I'm just gonna time you out and ban you. What? That's your opinion, but he keeps coming in every time I stream and saying that. Just saying he doesn't come in and say anything else. See how I'm doing or anything like that. But qualified first in the GT3 class. I'm not. I'm in sixth overall. 
when I get back, I think I'm going to try and do a, uh, an actual proper endurance race on this game. Well, I'm doing an hour and 20 minute race. So. The GT3 car. Under the lights at Daytona. Giggity. Against LMP3 and LMP2 cars. And GT3 cars. It's all right. String out. Bigger cars, I don't. Oh, what the hell? That's your fastest final sector time so far. As long as I'm just in the podium and the GT3, I don't care. Um, uh, I, I really don't like donning to me on this game because the AI are a fucking bullshit here. What's that, Donington? Yeah, I had to fucking down tune the AI, and I still can't keep up with them. Nope. Just because they can fly through the like the the wider open corners where I can't. Yep. Oh, I know. I'm very well aware of that. That's something they have to fix. You'll they be in a quicker car, but yet they'll blow you by like almost over half a minute. That's something I don't like. Okay, we've got some pressure coming from behind. Start thinking about the fence. Then you'll get a slower car behind you and they'll pass you like you're freaking sitting still. That's your fastest lap so far today. Come on, baby. Top five. Let's go. Damn it. Four minutes remaining. No fault, just went too hard in there. It's only less than three minutes into it, so. And of course. Spun it. And they still have they still haven't fixed the thing where the fucking car won't go from reversing the fucking first gear. Nope. I do notice I did notice that. Oh three wide at that corner. Wow. That was insane. I hate those. Like, I'm really fast through slow corners, but fucking, you take any corner that ha requires the slightest bit of speed, it's like they catch you like you're sitting still. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's one thing I noticed that you do have to fix. 
shit like that. But also, Gran Turismo's AI is just as bad. It's like, you, you can pull ahead of them. Be a mile clear, and then all of a sudden, there's like, they're super fast. Somehow I cut the course. I don't know how. It's just like long I've been taking practice and all qualifying. Just a couple laps in this race. Mm. Anyways. Just like all racing, you know, these wacky corners. No, you cut the course. You're off track. You know, in any other racing game and in real life, you don't. That's what I hate that's about that's Grand overall. Turismo's penalty system, too. Like, awesome in the first sector. That's your best split so far. You know, you go along fine, then all of a sudden, it's like, you drop one wheel off anywhere, and it's like, oh, you got a five second penalty for nothing. Fastest second sector. Great driving, mate. Five minutes to go. Damn it. Lost it. Shit. Lost it going into the bus stop. Still the top BT car, so I'll take it. Mm -hmm. I don't fall. I don't fall. Just went too quick in that corner. In the bus stop. Good job. Keep pushing. Back to 10th now. Shoot. Your pace is good overall. Just try and extend that gap. The and somebody's pitting. My place driver is pitting. Mm hmm. Bunch of drivers are pitting. I like how you can tear up the mud and the mud will go flying up in the air. That's pretty cool. Four minutes remaining.
three minutes to go. That's better. Oh, uh, this is so cool running the Daytona under the lights in the GT3 car. Oh, I love it. Do they have LMP1 cars in this game, or is it just LMP3 and LMP2 no, there is. cars? Okay, that's what I thought. But there's only, I think, two, the two. real ones. There, there's two real ones. Yeah, and there's the like Porsche three. and Audi. No, Toyota. Oh, okay. Which apparently Toyota has a thousand horsepower. Does, but it breaks down all the time. <laughs> one of the but, but the one that they have in this around. Well, actually, both Toyota and Audi in this game are both outdated. The they're, they're not even close to the current. So today. Well, that's like they don't have the current updated version of Daytona, the old circuit. Get the goddamn current version of it. It's so bumpy. It's all repaved, all redone. Give us the newer version of it. And so far, the only game that's ever actually done that is Irish. Yep. But why don't we have the updated versions of Mishk in Pocono, you know, tracks like that? And now even Martinsville with lights. What, on Irish? Where you can race under lights. Yeah. Well, I know, uh, I, I think, if I remember correctly, I think either Pocono or Michigan's being worked on. Oh, I know they're being worked on. They're basically been scanned. One minute remaining. You know what I mean, though. Give us the updated versions of these tracks. Maybe they're not ready yet. Oh, I know they're ready, but anyways. I racing would rather bring out other content. Bringing out another dirt track. Eventually, and then they're bringing out Rally Cross, which oh, I can't freaking wait. I'm so looking forward to it. Who's the. Uh, he's back three spots behind me. Back in 11th. It's good. It isn't fair. You're losing. I appreciate you, bro. Class. Oh, excuse me. My Honda Just revs higher than this car does. Oh, I bet it does. This car top red lines at seven. You should try to get a petty team together for uh, the Tim, Tim's Corner Motorsports 250 for go kart racing. <laughs> you got any more pace up your sleeve now? Oh yeah, you had yeah, it last year. It can. was huge. Hmm. It's an endurance race. John Fleming's got a team together. I was thinking maybe you can get Marty. Me, Marty, Marshall, Garth, Darren Bazanson. Doing that whole thing, thing myself. Yeah, you gotta have a minimum of like three or four drivers. Huh? I think you gotta have a minimum of a few drivers. Like three drivers or something. I know I can't remember what the rule was last year, but I know like there's some. I think it'd just be fun. I don't even care where we finish, just to race against some of the pro stock boys and you know guys have been at it a long time. Hmm. Take a Saturday off of work and go in and mess around all day. Oh yeah, I seen the uh, the the mini stock tours banquet's going to be held at a at that go kart place. Yeah, carpon. Oops. Yeah, because they actually didn't have their uh, banquet. I'm really surprised. All the dri a lot of the drivers were there Saturday night. I'm surprised they didn't have it at Scotia. Because the Maritime League of Legends did, but they always do, though. 
easiest way to do it because everybody was going to be there anyway so Marshall actually gave a nice speech I was shocked uh -huh. he gave a, he, a, he said thank you to the Scotia Speed World officials and I think he shocked all the officials like he said it because he cause, yeah I was shocked I was joking around when I said speech and he gave a speech I was a nice one I was shocked I was like you so scoutists for officials are a bunch of scumbags, you cock-sucking motherfuckers. I'm coming over there and kick all uh, your motherfucking asses. <laughs> that's what he should have said. <laughs> should have said what Gar said to them last year. Hello? Ouch. Ow. Ow. Oh, Ow. He, to he, told he told Lawrence right thought of him. Lawrence didn't like it too much. Uh. Oh, well. Let's go, Brand Hatch. I hate this track. But let's go. I love it. But at least I know this track, so I should be able to do good at this track. Compared to that fucking retard Donington race. Donning so quick, but it's okay, got mate. Some very the slow going. That's like s Snarturn or whatever it is Snatterton. there that has. Sinertin, yeah, that's got the um, the hedge maze. That's got the freaking driver, the driver hedge maze there. Hedge maze? I think that's pretty cool, though. If they have that. under 20 minutes to into it. It's 15 minutes into this race and so it's overall in first in class. I will take it. Minute and five to go. Under the lights at Daytona National Speedway Road Course. Not the bike circuit. There's two separate different courses. Okay, get ready. The road courses, because they also got the bike track. The bikes run there. Mm -hmm. Which is weird because you would think <coughs> it'd be the same week. It'd all be within the same, you know, couple weeks and do the 500. But. Uh, the, the, the bike race is during bike week. No, I know. That's what I mean. But you would think Which is bike week would be paired in wow. March. I, I've been to bike week before, and the 500 of the same week or the same year. Hmm. I, I I don't really. I never really was a fan of bikes, so I never really. Oh, I'm a huge I, fan. I never I never Oops. enjoyed bike week. Because it's like, you see one old Harley, you see them all. No, I like the bike racing. That's the only reason why I go down to Daytona. Because I'm a huge bike racing fan. I've seen it live on TV, and then I've seen it live in person. Even the local bike riders from all across the world, well, basically Atlanta, Canada, and even Ontario and Quebec, some of them have come down. So they usually come down for uh, the weekend before the Superbike, Canadian Superbike Series comes down. A bunch of them will come down and they'll run with our local guys and girls just to get some practice in because they know we do have some of them actually have going on we drive at the most world famous road courses in the world with bikes Jordan's Oaks a fine example 
That's your BMW. It's won the Canadian Championship several years in a row. He actually, pretty much every time he comes to the Atlantic Motorsport Park, he pretty much all he's got to do is show up and wraps up the title every year. Did it again this year at Atlantic Motorsport Park. Actually, I got. I was there for Sunderland's win on the Canadian Superbike Series, and I actually got his autograph. It's posted on my wall. Very nice, very nice guy. Actually, all the bike riders are very nice. I didn't hardly do anything. I got thanked, and I didn't do nothing. I just sat in the rescue truck. And just hung out in turn one. <laughs> but I could easily go now that I, ha I actually am certified with my C first aid CPR slash defibrillator. I could easily go work for something, do something like that. I could even, I even thought about being a track marshal up there. I might do that. You can pick your weekends. Mm -hmm. That's what Tim McNeil and them said. They, you, oh, you can pick your weekends. I'm like, you might have to look into that. Because some of them actually from Atlantic Motorsport Park get to go do the F1 race up in Montreal as track marshals. And they've gone, the, the, well, 24 hours of Daytona, 24 hours of Le Mans, 12 hours of Sebring, all, you know, Petit Le Mans, all those big, uh, they just I, go I, for I it because they love about the, the 24 hour Le Mans because, you know, they have their own guide for that. No, some of them, well, some of them just go to watch, I think, more than anything. They get an invite probably from some of the teams or, because there's actually a guy that raced, that used to race up there. It's part of one of the big sports car teams down there, mm -hmm. or across the world. It's one of the LMP, it, or maybe it's something else. But anyways, he's uh, he's one of their head engineers or something, or head drivers. Turn box. Skip to end. Get this fucking race over with. I'll be back in a few minutes. Don't leave anything on the table. Stuff. Bring it home. I'll be back. Feedback when we all the time my wheel decided to be fucking retarded. Oh, that would explain why their fucking AI is so fucking bullshit right now, and I have no fucking grip. They probably fucking went and put fucking bullshit winter t uh, fucking rain tires on.
so fucking shit tires on my fucking hair. Not that I lost feedback on the wheels. Fucking the game was like, ha, we're gonna put wet wet tires on your fucking car. Oh my god! Why would the fucking game deliberately fuck me over? Still acting the fucking same. Why do I have
19 fucking seconds behind. Fucking game still gave me fucking wet fucking bullshit tires. I'm back. Okay. This game is trying to fuck me over in this race. The 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 race started me out on fucking wet tires. Yeah, it does that. And I tried to fucking switch it, and it still kept me on fucking green card. not fucking gonna rain hard enough for it to fucking be needed for fucking wet tires. Well, in some tracks, yes. This game deliberately fucked me out of this fucking race. Why? Because it put me on rain tires and the rest of them are on fucking slick, so they're fucking driving away from me. Seven minutes to go. Nice. We're expecting some light drizzle any minute now, but we'll keep you posted.
Fox 6. Seven. Damn, those lights are great. Holy crap. Those crazy lights. This car. Seventies way back. Good. Stupid ass fucking boy. What are you doing? The career mode, are you? Mm-hmm. So well, it's the only thing I can stream. So seven minutes to go. Because you can't stream anything online. So yeah. No, I do. Of course you can. But your internet's completely not completely out of shit. Maybe someday you'll be good in it. Yeah, if I was on Flix, that wouldn't fucking happen. Fucking game won't let, let me let me put my fucking Flix on. and I should be running 139s. That's how fucked over I'm getting in this fucking race. Sounds like it. Actually, I'm not far back. I'm getting a little up there. Like that, then they fucking just drive away. Like I'm, just, I'm not even there. I 
should be almost wide open to this corner, not fucking tiptoe. Oh god, Marty's building a new car. Oh god, no. Oh Jesus. This is gonna be a drifting winner. Oh my. Well, why would you have three cars if you don't go on a race and so it just goes show? Like, I don't get that. It's like saw it. You only ran one other race besides the Three minutes last to go. two Scotia races. There nice. was literally no point to having fucking rain tires on it for this goddamn race. Fuck Maybe this. intermediates. Not even those. The track's not even wet. No. But the fucking game went was like, oh, we gotta go full on rain tires. Still? Easy does it. Easy. Easy. Freaking poor sounds. It sounds like a DD3 car. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm driving Porsche 911 DD3 car. This car. Okay. Actually, sounds like it. Track's finally getting wet. All of a sudden. <laughs> what spot are you in? I was up second, and now I'm down to eighth because of this fucking game oh. and it's fucking bullshit. First race I did was at Long Beach, which was tough. Yeah, that that that's a hard track to drive with, with when you're on a controller. It's a hard track to drive. Period. Doesn't right. matter if you have a steering wheel. Oh no, yeah, not. it's really bad with the controller. Nah, it's just, a steering wheel is easy. What? Especially for someone like me who I've, I, until I got this game, I've actually never driven Long Beach. In pit road, nice. Yeah, it's like okay, a good spot overall. Where I should, anyways. Yeah, I got screwed out of the team points because of that fucking bullshit fucking race. I'm 
Oh, okay. You got about an hour. What's that? You got about an hour before I gotta go for. Uh, Worky work? No. See if I can get money for to get that car up the island. Oh, okay. Trophy. I know the 22, 22 car is up for sale too. Up that way. Good. I don't know what it's. Oh, I don't. I don't want that. That the car's fifteen thousand to or... compared to four thousand. Um, I'll go with the car that's faster and a fourth and it's much much cheaper. Hmm. A lot of those Fords, though, uh, a lot of the Fords I noticed, they're going to the Chef Crate Motors. Actually, the only ones, the, the, the only ones that run Ford is uh, would be Luke, and that's it. Nobody else really runs. Well, uh, Luke, Luke and uh, Jordan. Those are the only real Fords. Jordan that was. This is a Chef motor. I'm pretty sure Vino's is a ship motor. Could be wrong. Why would I he know have, that, Why would he run a Chev when he's a Ford guy for everything? I know, but what I'm saying is the the Ford motors. While well, you look at Aaron Bootler, blows him up left, right, and center. But then he's not, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't know how to run it right. That'd be the only reason oh, for yeah. that. And Alex Johnson has a Ford. I still like to know what Alex has done to that motor, because friggin' the way it pulls, if even when the car's not handling, I've said to him, I said, man, that car's got some power. He said, You're not kidding. It's got a ton of horsepower. That's what scares me, is what the hell is nobody can figure out what he's got done to it. You should have won a couple of features Here's this year, need to make some on but yet he mirror drives and overdrives the car. He uses his tires up. Take a look at the performance stats. Also, pay close attention to the car class. If the motorsport you chose has multiple classes, the car class you choose here will determine which car class you'll be racing in. So, anyways, I know a lot of the Ford drivers they run Ford motors, but. Some of them are thinking about switching over. Chev's just because Chev's got good power, but they seem to last a lot longer. I know Darren Wall just building a new car, so he'll be back. Which means it'll just be a bunch of freaking bullshit every week with the Swartzman division. With him running. Basically, you'll have four, four Blair's Custom Metal Sportsman cars out there. They're all team cars. Zero eight, the friggin' twenty four, whatever number Darren's run, which is probably the three, and then a sixty car. That's what I chose in GT4. I thought it was exactly what I chose. No, first time it was the the Mustang. Then I went to the Porsche. And now I'm G. I'm at the second to last part of this. But I, I get to do the world. I'm doing the American version of the whatever this series is. Basically, IMSA, I basically call it. No, it's not really called IMSA.
They don't even have F1 cars in this game. They have Formula A and then Formula or no 3.5 and then Formula X or something like that, which leads you to freaking um, what is all the uh, Verizon IndyCar series, which they don't even have 90% of the tracks on here. So I don't know how they can really call it that. The fear of losing is far greater than, than the, the, the fear of being hurt, and that means that you've very much got to walking dead zombies, not World War Z zombies, it's walking dead zombies. Wouldn't you just surround your house with tires? And wouldn't they just trip everywhere and they would never get to you? Like, I feel like that would be the easiest solution for the zombie apocalypse. Just put a lot of fish wire net stuff everywhere and some tires on the ground, and they're just, they'll just put a small. Mustang. Your raccoon went what gin. in the what now? What? Get me out of that fucking Janetta bullshit. Never ever will I ever drive uh, that no. thing again. Oh, it's horrible. But the, but the stupid thing is, the GT5, the GT4, and the GT3 all drive the exact same, and they're all fucking garbage. What? Gen Janetta? Yeah. And, oh, 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 and the LMP3. They have an LMP3 car. It is junk. Okay. I, I've driven it. Doesn't handle, doesn't stop, got a ton of power. Looks good, that's it. Oh, if they open up Onslow, would you come now, down and try it? Open up what? The too hard, too soon. Rumor has it they might be opening up Onslow Speedway again. I don't even know what that is. Down just outside of, uh, just outside of Charles. It's an old racetrack that closed 20 plus years ago now. Something like that. The track itself is good. Marshall said he took his little, uh, he took his mum's car around it once. He was doing like one. 40, 150. And then when, when he was working for uh, that Hyundai dealership up in Trail Bottle Hill there, he took the car that they gave him, I think it was the Camry or the, the Corolla on it, and he was doing about the same. Now it's just Rumor has it Dylan and his father might be opening that up. And if they do, I can see Skid Speed World being closed within a couple of years because of it. Still in the lead lap, which I'm shocked at. With under. 41 minutes to go. And the leader is not far. Lap me, but. It's alright. I don't care. As long as I don't get the car destroyed, I'll be alright. Knock on wood. Six places pitting in again. Huh. I haven't pitted yet. The tires are still on a really great, but I haven't been spinning out either. 
Oh, I might get up to top five now. Yep, top five now. Looks like it's raining. The, really? I just touched the gas and it fucking spun out. Yep, I think she's raining a little bit. Gonna make this race that much more interesting. Under the light, she is raining. Sweet. I like it. So I might have to pit for rain tires if it gets too hard. The track gets wet. Actually, third place. Damn. Second place is in. I can hear it now. What? Oh, right. Yeah. I can hear it now. She's starting to... Uh, oh, oh, oh. And two cars are in pit road. Nice. Okay, I go from a car, like the Janetta, that had no, absolute, no feedback and no dampening. And now I'm driving a car that... that has way too fucking much. Third overall and first or last still with plus about 37 minutes to go and it's starting to rain. I'm not far back actually from second right now. But everybody's pitting in. I don't know if they're coming in for rain tires or what. Most likely. But it's not accumulating on the track, so probably too much. Once I start seeing a little bit of spray, I'll pit. Enough the wipers are turned on, so it's just drizzle. Oh, I see that wiper down even a little bit. Certain areas slid through that corner. We come in next lap.
in this lab. Hopefully we'll put tires on it. Don't know how to put Really? Like, how the fuck? car in the wall. Is there? Top five overall, stolen first in GT3. And up by four spots on the other GT3 car. See, in certain areas it's foreign. And then well, it has, the, the game has dynamic track weather, so it could be raining in one spot and not in the other, so. Oh, I know. Boy, it's debating whether or not to come back in. That's what I like about it, because it'll be boring in one, I noticed in some of the other races. Yeah, I gotta come in. Why? 
It's too red. It's raining her. And I just slid through a bunch of corners, so I'm just gonna pit. You can hear the tires just. Yeah. To the point now where you need to put wets on. Might kill me in certain areas, but. Wet enough that I need the pit. Slide all over the place. Windshield wipers are not on. I don't get it. Did you have to turn manually, manually turn them on? Unless, unless the race starts in the rain. But how do you turn them on? Do you know? Uh, it's one of the directional buttons. Uh, down. Ooh. There we go. They're on now. Fast and Porsche, fast and Porsche, Porsche, fast and Porsche. I'm going to assume that's the BMW, BMW, then me. Oh, kid, sorry. That. Two cars spawned in inside of each other. So basically, it was car rape, basically, or car whatever. If I would have known this, I would have turned formation lap off. It was going to be like this. Yeah. I have, really, I have a fight. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Change in fronts. Put the backs, change in the backs. There we go. It's better. There the car. Lap down, but it's all right. 27 minutes to go. Still in top 10. First in GT3. Oh, we're gonna lose 10th. That's all right. As I finish in the top three and GG3, I don't care. Why the fuck oh, yeah, did the real turn lose for that? For the fucking AI going so fucking slow. Five and a half minutes to go. Oh, yeah, you 
can see the track starting. She's starting to get slick. Yeah, it's starting to get spray now. front stretch and going into the third horn. You can tell it's a little slick. Why is my tractor control and Really? For fuck's sakes! Well, now that was turned on. No, well it was on for qualifying and now all of a sudden I have none of it. Oh, that's weird. Stop. Oh, there's some spray. Bus stop. Yeah, getting some spray now. Track is wet. Can you cancel getting fuel on your pit stops? But it takes forever to okay. do it because you have to manually go through every single liter. Or whatever. No, I know. It's hard to do unless you're on a, like a really fast street. Mm. If that was my problem, I wouldn't how to do it. Now I know how to do it. Change tires, anyways. Did the game turn my traction control and ABS off? It was like, safe. Did you turn it back on? Some of these guys are struggling big time now. They don't have the wet tires on. I don't know what they have? They're struggling.
Yeah, the fucking shit says it's on, but it's not fucking working. Hmm. That's weird. I don't have any of that on anyways. I don't have a lot of the assists on. I don't think any. Everybody's struggling, so I'm glad I went to the first. 20 minutes to go. Yeah, it seems like everybody really struggling right now. Then he better move out of my fucking way. Uh, Mark James. Get out of my way, but I came in. I missed the freaking tire barrier coming out of the road. Yeah. And they got into one on the spot. That's all right. I see sixth place up in front of me and overall, so. Three carriers for position in front of me. Nice. Very nice. Crikey. Seventh, sixth place for eight in front of me. Move down, I'm going high. Two. Fifth place in front of me. Get them in the corners. It's frame rate drops anyways. Must be just you. It doesn't for me. Or at least for this NAF, the, the this for the, the the natural one. I go into for turn one and it's like bit 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 I might have a top three overall. The race. 
Wait, isn't it a, 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 a 120 minute race? It's a 120 minute race, and I got 15 and a half minutes to go. And I'm only 20 seconds away from bringing second place overall in the race. Hmm. And a lot of cars are struggling. I don't know if they're on all the range or what. All Seems three. like everybody's struggling. I'm on slicks. Or wet, wet tires. And let's see. Where's the next? Holy crap. I'm sitting fifth. I'm seven spots up on the next GT3 car. Damn, son! 15 minutes. Cut down. Yeah. Get out of my way, motherfucker. Oh, to get out of my way. And he scoops one spin. <laughs> Turn stream four. Well, I said get out of my way. My way. Got fourth, made him look silly. So like I said, some of these cars are struggling, I don't know why. I can't believe there's a Cadillac GT3 car. To which that program's already been cancelled. Yep. One year and the program's gone. Yep. Great driving, mate. That's the fastest second sector time so far. I see it. I guess they should have never got rid of the, uh, the Cadillac uh, CTSV uh, R. Yep. minutes to go. Sitting fourth overall. Race third. First in overall in GT3 class. Nice. And I'm about to pass the third place car. Done. I do like how this little portion runs. Or he's just don't have the power that was LMP3 and LMP2 well, cars have. Well, Porsche's a handling have. car, so that's why. Hmm. Oh, it's a beautiful. It, it, it handles gorgeous. And it sounds so cool. That's what I like about it. Well, flat six where everything else is all V powered. Yep. And it runs beautifully. Second place car overall in front of me now. I won't catch the first place driver unless he runs into trouble. Still, I'll take second place overall, first in class after the first race. The driver in front increased the gap to three seconds, but you're still very, very close. Keep pushing on it. Right there, though. Five minutes remaining. Get him a little bit there. I'll let him pass. Try to pass. Slap here. Out of my way, you jackass. Please tell me that's not going to overheat the engine. Oh, it might overheat the engine even a little bit of damage. Certainly hope not. Alright, staying 195 good. Yeah, the 188. 
perfect. One, one, two, four. And five again. Well, I was an eighth for this whole entire race, and then the fucking inside one of the AIs decided to hit me and spin me out. Teammate, even though he's back on the last place. Now I'm in fucking last. Oh, fuck it. Time to fucking restart that again. What are you doing? Just continuing the race? No, I restarted and then I backed out for now. Oh, okay. I am gaining on the guy that's in first, but slowly it's. I'm 37, less than 30. Second or 37 seconds back of them. I'm catching them pretty quick, but I don't think with less than nine minutes to go, I'm gonna catch them. <laughs> 